My name is Miklos Fodor. Repeated random restructuring paradigm series. The, in this chapter, we will talk about uh, death, how we define death in, in this paradigm. Uh, what is important because we are to, we were continuously talking about living systems and um, uh, up till now something what is living was defined but by um, the ability to being created to the, by the birth and uh, that can die and uh, it can multiply and uh, maybe that is is, is adapting there, there, that's a lot of criteria I, I don't want to to introduce this much criteria that are for me too much human uh, notions like dying and giving birth and so I prefer to to say that systems exist they they, they don't have a special purpose they they are the, the, their creation is just due to the laws of, of, of uh, physics or the laws of universe. We don't have a reason why to suppose that there is something uh, more complicated behind it. Of course, the believers who, who say that God and universe is the same, they can say that God is creating uh, living creatures and that's okay. With our words, the universe is creating the living creatures, not the universe as a, as a single person or, 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 or a single entity, but there are rules in the, in the uh, universe. And according to these rules, things come close to each other, they, they link to each other, and uh, this linkage uh, seems to be a longer term uh, attachment and it's never endless because after a while this uh, uh, this these links are seized so uh, as uh, outsiders we, we see these uh, these creatures uh, as, as dying and, um, and falling into pieces So, using this, we don't have to operate with uh, notions like birth and death. We just, but if, if somebody is, uh, wants to define what is life, then, then we can say that it's a, a period from the emergence of a specified setup uh, until that setup stops existing. And here I have to, to, to underline that, yeah, these, these subsystems that are creating the, this, this bigger system, when they are connected in a specific way, and that's what I'm calling a specified setup. Let's say more like this. Then um, until this setup is not changed, the bigger system or the super system here with red exists identical to to the previous time point so if in time t1 this is the setup and in t2 it's the sa same setup then then we say that it's identical and it's it's say living in the minute when uh, when this link is changed and that's that's maybe t3 uh, third time point we see the system as constant as, as, as nothing changed because we cannot see inside the, the system we cannot see how the subsystems were, were behaving so so we we say that the, 
the, the, the super system we tried is, is still uh, existing. But as we have seen from the previous chapter, the performance of this red super system has changed because of of the change in in, in this uh, setup. So in T one, in the time point one, if to input one, uh, the system was able to deliver output one. In T two the same, but in T three there will be output 2 and output 2 and output 1 is for sure not identical because all the changes in the in the subsystem or the, in the linking of the subsystem has an effect on on the the transformation what is here you might remember from the many times jolt model. So there's a question what makes these links establish and what makes these links be killed or be seized and the answer is the universe, the laws of the universe and nothing else. Yes, if you say that universe is God then, then God is is uh, creating and, and, and killing uh, living systems. And there is a further consequence of this approach that, that life is a very inaccurate, inaccurate notion. A life of something, life of a group or life of a, a political party. Let's compare a political party in the 40s, uh, which has the same name and the same history, and, and today they have, uh, it's a completely different, has maybe completely different values and, and gives completely different reactions to the same inputs or the same questions. They, they, they give uh, different uh, responses. So, what I, I try to argue is, uh, is that living creatures are constantly changing. Maturana and Varela, uh, two uh, philosophers, uh, were say, using the, the notion of autopoiesis. I hope I spell it correct. Autopoiesis. If you check it on Wikipedia, you will find in details what is autopoiesis. Autopoiesis comes from the Greek word, as you see, uh, and it's, it's self-creation. And is the, is the fact that if this, uh, if This link disappears because uh, because has died, or even more precise, uh, this small subsystem is is dead and is recreated. Then, then uh, the the system can the, this red one can uh, sustain the uh, its stability and can perform on a constant level. That means poiesis, that self creation, that it it doesn't create it in a different place. So I mean. It creates exactly the same, and it, it doesn't create it like here. So this gives a, a constantness. But why I'm not very much pro 
Maturana and Varela and uh, brought the concept of the autopoiesis that they are operating with the notion of uh, dying and, and the recreation what I think are too, too human or too, too inaccurate. There's only one issue that, that stabilizes a system's performance and is, uh, as we will see in, in uh, future chapters, that the information can flow over the, the, the system, meaning that the transformation uh, here with blue, what this, this uh, red system is able to perform is something that is adaptive from a higher level, from a much, much higher level point of view. So, for example, this small subsystem will continue existing exactly in that way that is right now if uh, for this red system it is adaptive if not then then the, the information won't flow over it and this will mean that the, the subsystem won't access enough resources and without enough resources it will fall in, into parts and these parts might restructure and recreate uh, a different one. Maybe we, 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 we have reached the level that, that the, uh, the, the, the paradigm starts to be a little bit too, too complex. Hopefully, if we will understand the, the restructuring, uh, how it how it goes, then then we will understand uh, more detailed what is happening here. Autopoiesis. Let me let me sh show with with the use of the notion of, of restructuring. Yes, we have the subsystems that are connected in a specific pattern. Okay. When I, I mean restructuring, then I say that they, it, it has changed this way. Okay. I didn't draw too much. And again, a restructuring. It's this way, this way, this way. And it changes continuously. It changes until it has resources. We will see in further chapters. What is the autopoiesis? Is that it changes, but the result of the change will be the same as the previous setup. So if we have in T1 this These, these connections and uh, and it falls into parts in in the time point T two in time point T three it's a big big question which things will uh, be created exactly the same like this and in that case we are talking about autopoiesis of, of uh, the whole system recreation of itself or there will be a different setup here maybe this way this way so here at the t3 at the t3 we have a question mark. Just try to make a 
question mark. So that uh, there's autopoiesis, autopoiesis, or a different system will appear. There is possibility of autopoiesis and a different system. It's autopoiesis occurs when the when for the super system is worse maintaining the 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 setup what was in, in T1. If this wasn't a, a good solution in, in T1, then not the auto basis but a, a new setup will will uh, 